visited the shoe shop. He bought himself a new pair of shoes. Of course, he already had shoes. Kings have lots of shoes. Lots and lots and lots of shoes. But King Rollo's new shoes were different. His new shoes had laces. King Rollo smiled and put on his new shoes. Then he looked at the laces. He called for his magician. When the magician arrived, King Rollo said, uh, do up my laces for me, please. I can't always be around to do up your laces, said the magician. Make a magic spell to do them up, said King Rollo. But that would be a waste of magic, said the magician. I'll show you how to do them up. <laughs> Left over right and under and pull. Make a little loop. Now make another. One loop goes over and under the other. Have you got it? he asked. Ahem, <clears throat> said King Rollo uncertainly. The magician showed him again. <laughs> Left over right and under and pull. Make a little loop, now another. One loop goes over and under the other. Now all you need to do is practice, he said. King Rollo went into his bedroom and closed the door. Soon strange noises came from the bedroom. Right and... oh, uh, blow. <coughs> Make a little loop. Oh, oh. And sometimes what sounded like a shoe being thrown. over right and oh, oh. make a little loop oh, no. <clears throat> make a little loop oh, oh. King Rollo has got new shoes the magician explained to the cook lace ups but gradually, the noises from the room grew less and less. That afternoon, Queen Gwen arrived to have tea with King Rollo. room, but before they could knock, the door opened, and King Rollo came out. Oh, said Queen Gwen, I do like your new shoes. They're lace-ups. Yes, smiled King Rollo, and I did them up myself.
King Rollo was in the garden. I'm going to climb that tree, he said. Don't climb the tree, you'll get your hands dirty, said the magician. I'm still going to climb that tree, said King Rollo. I'm going to climb that tree. Don't climb the tree, you'll tear your jacket, said Cook. I'm going to climb very high, said King Rollo. Don't climb the tree, you'll fall and hurt yourself, said Queen Gwen. I'm going to climb right to the top, said King Rollo. Hamlet the cat said nothing. King Rollo started to climb. said the magician. King Rollo climbed and climbed, said Cook. King Rollo climbed very high, Dear, said Queen Gwen. Rollo climbed right to the very top. Then he slipped and slid and he slipped and slid and slid and slipped all the way down the tree until finally he landed on the ground with a bump. Well, I said you'd get your hands dirty, said the magician, and you did. There, I said you would tear your jacket, said Cook, and you did. Oh dear, I said you would fall and hurt yourself, said Queen Gwen, and you did. And I said I would climb to the top of that tree, said King Rollo. Yes, said Queen Gwen, and you did. Thank you.
King Rollo waved goodbye to Cook. Then he and the magician went for a walk in the country. After a while, they met a farmer who was getting ready to eat his lunch. All the farmer had to eat was a loaf of bread. King Rollo wanted to show the farmer how clever his magician was. Would you like something different to eat? asked King Rollo. No, thank you. The bread is fine, said the farmer. How about roast chicken? asked King Rollo. Make the bread change into roast chicken, magician. The magician made a magic spell and with a flash turned the bread into roast chicken. Can I have my bread back, please? asked the farmer. What about chocolate cake? asked King Rollo. Change the chicken to chocolate cake, magician. The magician made another spell and the chicken became chocolate cake. Can I have my bread back, please? asked the farmer. I bet you like spaghetti, said King Rollo. Again, the magician made a spell. The cake was changed to spaghetti. Can I have my bread back, please? asked the farmer. Ice cream, lovely ice cream, asked King Rollo. Another spell. And this time the spaghetti was changed to ice cream. Can I have my bread back, please? asked the farmer. Look, said King Rollo. You can have anything you want to eat. What would you really like? Just the bread, please. It's delicious. My wife makes it, said the farmer. Oh, well, sighed King Rollo. You'd better give him his bread back, magician. With another spell, the magician turned the ice cream back into the bread. By now, all the food had made King Rollo and the magician feel hungry. Have some bread, said the farmer. There's plenty here. The bread really was delicious. Your magician's very clever, said the farmer. So is your wife, said King Rollo. Tomorrow is Queen Gwen's birthday, Cook said to King Rollo. Oh, yes, said King Rollo. I must send her a birthday card. And he went to the shop to choose a card. He 
bought the best card they had. Then he went home to write inside it. That's not a very special card, said Cook. What do you mean, said King Rollo? It was the best they had. Draw one yourself. It will be more special, said Cook. But I can't draw, said King Rollo. Try, said Cook. King Rollo looked for his paper and paints. tried to think of something to draw. He looked for a picture to copy. Draw Queen Gwen on a horse, said the magician. King Rollo tried. Oh, it's awful, he said, and threw it away. Never mind, try again, said the magician. So he tried again. And again. Again. It's still not very good. Not as good as the shop one, said King Rollo. But it's much more special, said the magician. Send it. <laughs> King Rollo posted the card. Then he went home and tied it up. The next day, King Rollo was the first to arrive for Queen Gwen's birthday party. Queen Gwen was pleased to see him. Thank you for your card. I really loved it, she said. It was special, said King Rollo. Very special, said Queen Gwen, and different. King Rollo was looking in his drawer. He found a packet with three balloons.
Help me blow up a balloon, he asked Cook. Not now, said Cook. I have to make a cup of tea. Help me blow up a balloon, he asked the magician. Not now, said the magician. I have to make a cup of tea vanish. King Rollo tried to blow up a balloon. It was very hard, but he kept on trying, and at last he did it. It was a bumpy green balloon. Just when King Rollo had the balloon blown up, he let it go. The balloon flew all over the room. King Rollo liked that, and he did it again. This time, the balloon flew out of the window. <laughs> King Rollo blew up the round blue balloon. He pulled the neck of the balloon and it squeaked and squealed as the air escaped. King Rollo blew up the round blue balloon again. And tied it up. Then he blew up the last balloon the long yellow one. In the kitchen, the magician made a piece of pie vanish. Then he wondered if he could make a cake disappear. Suddenly, there was a loud bang. Cook and the magician rushed to King Rollo. What was that bang? The magician asked. Oh, I was just practicing some magic, said King Rollo. Magic? What magic? asked the magician. I can make a balloon vanish, said King Rollo. Oh, 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 oh. was delicious, said King Rollo after dinner. Ah, yes, 
really delicious, said the magician. In fact, we'll wash up for you as a treat, King Rollo said to Cook. Oh, uh, mm, yes, said the magician. King Rollo and the magician carried the dishes into the kitchen. said to the magician. That would be cheating. Cook doesn't use magic, said the magician. Oh, all right. I'll wash and you wipe, said King Rollo. washed the first plate. Then he washed the second plate. It was going to be a slow job. Um, not even a little magic? King Rollo asked hopefully. Cook doesn't use magic sighed the magician. All right, you wash and I'll wipe, said King Rollo. The magician washed a plate and passed it to King Rollo. King Rollo dropped the plate and it smashed on the floor. Now look what you've done, said King Rollo. Now look what you've done, said the magician. The magician. Cook is coming. Quickly, the magician made a magic spell. At once, the plate was mended and dry. King Rollo looked at the rest of the dirty dishes. Then he looked at the magician. The magician looked at King Rollo. Then he looked at the rest of the dirty dishes. He made another magic spell. Once, all the dishes were clean and dry. Then Cook came in. Well done, she said. You've washed them just as quickly as I could have. But of course, she added, there were two of you. his crown, and sometimes he didn't catch it at all. Can we 
have our ball back, please? Asked King Rollo. When it was time for Queen Gwen to leave, King Rollo waved goodbye. Then he ran indoors, dirty from the garden. You need a bath, said Cook. Later, said King Rollo. I'm busy now. Then he ran out into the garden again. Later, King Rollo ran in to get something else. It's time for your bath, said Cook. Yes, yes, said King Rollo, and ran outside again to play with Hamlet the cat. I said, bath, Cook shouted out of the window. What, said the magician in surprise. Not you, said Cook, King Rollo. I'll never get him to have a bath. Let me try, said the magician. He made a magic flash. King Rollo was still playing in the garden. Well, that didn't do much good, said Cook. Just then, a messenger arrived with a parcel. Special delivery for King Rollo, he said. King Rollo ran up and took the parcel. Then he ran off again. Now make a magic spell to put him in the bath, said Cook. I have done, said the magician. And King Rollo ran indoors. A moment later, they heard the bath running. was in that parcel? asked Cook. Just a boat, said the magician. King Rollo was looking for something. So was Queen Gwen. It was a ball. Cook was looking for something. It 
was a jar of cherries. What are you doing? King Rollo asked the magician. Looking for something, said the magician. What are you looking for? asked Queen Gwen. That's the trouble. I can't remember, said the magician. We'll help you, said King Rollo, as he started to search. Pity we don't know what we're looking for, said Queen Gwen. Pity there's so many things here, said King Rollo. The magician certainly had a lot of things. Is it this pen? asked King Rollo. No, said the magician. Is it these grapes? asked Queen Gwen. No, said the magician, taking one. Is it Hamlet the cat? asked King Rollo. <laughs> said the magician. If it's your glasses, you're wearing them, said Queen Gwen. I can see that, said the magician. This pen knife? asked King Rollo. No, but thank you, I did wonder where it was, said the magician. Make a magic spell to find it, said Queen Gwen. I could, if only I knew what it was, said the magician. Why not make a magic spell to remember, said King Rollo. What a good idea, said the magician. But now I can't remember the spell to remember things, he said. Where did I put my book of spells? You're sitting on it, said Queen Gwen. You're sitting on it, said King Rollo. The magician opened the book and read. Then he carefully made the spell to remember things. Has it worked? asked King Rollo. Have you remembered what you were looking for? Uh, yes, said the magician. Well, come on, what is it? said Queen Gwen. The Book of Magic Spells, said the magician. King Rollo was not happy. What is the matter? asked the magician. 
King Frank is coming to tea," said King Rollo. "Oh," said the magician. "I don't like King Frank," said King Rollo. "Why not?" asked the magician. "He's bossy, he cheats, and he's bigger than me," said King Rollo. "Well, why did you ask him to tea?" asked the magician. "Nobody else would come," said King Rollo. Perhaps he thinks the same about you," said the magician. "Perhaps he had nobody else to have tea with." Just then, they heard the doorbell. "Hello, King Frank," said King Rollo. "Hello, King Rollo," said King Frank. They went into King Rollo's room to play with a bat and ball. Later, they came out to get a card game. And went back into the room. Next, they came out for the chess set. After a while, King Rollo came out to ask Cook about tea. Cook took their tea into the room. It was a long time before they came out again, and that was when it was time for King Frank to go home. King Rollo went to the door with him. He waved goodbye. That was really fun, King Rollo said to the magician. He's coming again tomorrow. I thought he was bossy and cheated," said the magician. "Of course not," said King Rollo. "He's very nice. He's my friend, but he is bigger than me." King Rollo was in the garden when King Frank arrived with his dog.
What a beautiful dog, said King Rollo. Let's show him to cook. They ran indoors with the dog. Yes, yes, very nice, said Cook. Then she saw their muddy feet. Out you go, she said. Let's show him to the magician, said King Rollo. Just what I needed, said the magician as the dog knocked over his things. Why don't you take the dog for a walk, said the magician. They went outside to take the dog for a walk. Only most of the time, it was a run. King Frank told King Rollo the names of the different kinds of dogs that they saw. King Frank knew a lot about dogs. He showed how to make a dog beg to say please. They threw a ball and the dog brought it back. They chased the dog. The dog chased them. At last, they were completely tired out. Come back and have some tea. Queen Gwen will be there, King Rollo said to King Frank. I can't, said King Frank. Before I can have tea, I must clean and feed the dog. Gosh, said King Rollo. You'll starve. He waved goodbye to King Frank and the dog and set off for home. All those people have to feed their dogs before they can have tea, he thought. At tea, King Rollo was still talking about dogs. I've learnt a lot about dogs, he said to Cook. Do you know the best kind? asked Cook. Yes, said King Rollo. Someone else's. Anything to do. He was very pleased when Queen Gwen came to have tea. They were just sitting down at the table when King Rollo remembered it was Wednesday. It's Wednesday, he said. My comic comes on Wednesday. 
don't bother about it now, said Cook. It's tea time. But King Rollo dashed off to find it. He looked among the newspapers. But it wasn't there. Have you seen my comic? He called to the magician. Hmm? Granted the magician. I said, have you seen my... You're reading it, said King Rollo. He snatched the comic from the magician. I haven't read that yet, said King Rollo. That's very rude, said the magician. You should have waited. Save the comic for later, said Cook, as King Rollo sat down. King Rollo started to read the comic. Read it after I'm gone, said Queen Gwen. King Rollo chuckled at a joke. It's very rude to read at the table, said Cook. King Rollo read on. <laughs> it's very rude to read when you have a guest, said Queen Gwen. King Rollo gave oh. another chuckle. Queen Gwen finished her tea. King Rollo still read on. Cook cleared the table. Might as well not be here, said Queen Gwen. King Rollo still read the comic, so Queen Gwen left. <laughs> At last, King Rollo finished the comic. Where's my tea? He asked. Tea is over. You were reading, said Cook. Well, where's Queen Gwen? Asked King Rollo. You ignored Queen Gwen and she's gone home, said Cook. Now I haven't anything to do, said King Rollo. What a rotten day. King Rollo woke up and felt hungry. I think I'll have breakfast in bed today, he said. He rang for Cook. The magician came in. Cook is ill, he said. 
Who will get breakfast? asked King Rollo. I can't worry about breakfast. I'm off to get the doctor, said the magician. King Rollo got out of bed. He washed himself. Then he got dressed. King Rollo went downstairs and into the kitchen. First put on the kettle, said King Rollo to himself. He hummed a little tune. <laughs> now bread for the toast. <laughs> Oh dear, where are the eggs? he said. And I'll need the jam. Upstairs in bed, Cook opened her eyes. Oh dear, she said, as she heard the boiling kettle whistle. Oh dear, oh dear, she said, as she smelt the burning toast. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, she said, as she heard something fall. Then there was a knock on Cook's door. Come in, said Cook weakly. Slowly the door opened and King Rollo peeked in. It's about breakfast, he said. Oh dear, said Cook. I really can't make any today. No, I know, said King Rollo. And he opened the door wide. I've made some for you. Oh, you are kind, said Cook. It's years since I had breakfast in bed. She sat up and looked at the tray. That's far too much for me, she said. I know, said King Rollo. I brought mine up to have with you. King Rollo was just looking out of the window. Suddenly, he noticed noises coming from his playroom. What are you doing? King Rollo asked Cook. I'm tidying your playroom, said Cook. Why don't you put things away when you finish with them? She asked. I might need them again later, said King Rollo. Anyway, I like it untidy. Leave this room alone, he said. 
All right, said Cook, and she left. with his bat and ball. Then he played with his model soldiers. Then he tried his boxing gloves. Then he painted a picture. played with his train. By the time King Rollo left the room, he had played with lots of things. That night, King Rollo slept very well. The next day, King Rollo went back to the playroom. Where is that book I was reading? He said. He stepped on his drain and broke it. He knocked over his paint pot. He snapped an arrow. Then he found the book. It was spoilt by paint. A little while later, the magician looked into the room. What are you doing? The magician asked King Rollo. Tidying my playroom, said King Rollo. 